Hi guys, welcome back to Glam Pick. It's Rina here and it's that time of the year. It's Ramadan guys. So with all the good things that comes with Ramadan like the food bazaar and breaking fast with your loved ones and performing your prayers at the mosque, then comes the dry side of Ramadan. I'm talking about your skin. Now because it's Ramadan and all of us are fasting, so that is what? Lack of water? So for today's episode, I'm gonna share with you a few important skincare tips that will help you during Ramadan. As usual, before we start, do click on the subscription button below and subscribe to our channel. So with Ramadan, I'm pretty sure there are some of us who suffer dry skin because of the lack of water intake and whether we like it or not, the humid weather that we have here in Malaysia is not making it any easier for us. So today, I'm going to talk about skincare tips to survive during Ramadan, to keep your skin hydrated, and looking good and feeling good. So when it comes to hydration, the first thing you think of is to increase water. So to hydrate something means to increase its water content. In terms of our skin, that is to increase the water in our skin cells and this will give us a more healthy, more smoother and more plump complexion. Okay, so my first tip is this Yara's White Boosting Emulsion. Now, this emulsion is definitely you can try to incorporate in your skincare routine during Ramadan because it is non-sticky and its featherweight solution is very light so it doesn't give you that you know sticky feeling throughout the day so this emulsion is basically made up of all nourishing plant ingredients so it will naturally give you that fair skin tone and make you look more radiant now for those of you who do not know what emulsion is it's basically a cream based essence or you can just you know um in other words, it's more like a facial lotion for that. Um, so let's just try to pump it on my palm here. So it just basically is like that. It looks just like that, like a lotion. Now, it's pretty... The main ingredient for this is water. So it would definitely give you that hydration that you need during Ramadan and this, you know, this humid weather. And yeah, it can be a substitute since you know, most of us are fasting now. So yeah, um, basically it's just like that. It's just water-based like that. And it's very light, definitely very light. Now, this contains niacinamide, which is also known as vitamin B3. And is a big, big deal because it is a water-soluble vitamin for your skin. So all that goodness and all this emulsion. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to apply the emulsion. So all you need to do is firstly cleanse your face, tone, and then you can start applying this emulsion. So just be sure to put a good amount on there because it's water-based, so it's very watery and it's not thick. Like I said, it's quite light. So what I like to do is just evenly put on my forehead and my cheeks there and then on my chin, and then I'll start distributing it over my face evenly just rubbing it in and this emulsion contains antioxidants so it's really moisturizing for your face and like I said, it's really lightweight and it smells really good so it would definitely give you the hydration that you need during Ramadan and at the same time, it will help brighten your face so you don't look so tired during Ramadan. Yeah, and it will take time for the emulsion to absorb in your skin. But yeah, just rub it gently and just give it a pat. And slowly, in time, it will just absorb in your skin. And you will feel good and you will have good hydrated skin. Moving on to my next tip is the Yara Anti-Trouble Mist. Now, I've used this product before in my previous video and I love using this product after I cleanse, after I tone, and after I moisturize my face. And it de definitely helps with boosting your hydration level for your skin. So this is the 
anti-tea mist soothing now i'm sure now during ramadan we all feel tired and sleepy and because our body is adjusting to all this new time routine and we have to get up early in the morning and i'm pretty sure all of us are pretty tired now this will definitely help you with all that tiredness so since we can't have a glass of cold water to keep ourselves hydrated and refreshed and not feeling sleepy and tired we can definitely give Yada Anti-Trouble Mist a go you can just spray it on your face to make you feel fresh and not only does your skin feel fresh it also hydrates your skin and actually this mist is quite good for those of you having troubled skin because it contains bergamot and this helps with unclogging pores and it definitely gives a balance to the oils in your skin so it does not give you oily skin and it will make you feel fresh and it will definitely give it's definitely something that you can try to keep your skin hydrated during Ramadan okay so for this anti-trouble mist now to apply it all you have to do is just spray it on your face at a moderate distance make sure your eyes are closed and you can just spray it um, every morning and evening morning after you wash your face and evening just before you go to bed you can definitely just spray it on your face now this product is definitely suitable for those of you who have oily skin or sensitive skin um, because this formula is definitely non-greasy and it controls your oils in your skin so there's no overproduction of oil and also this mist is definitely free from harmful chemicals like paraben, artificial color or artificial fragrance so definitely just you can just definitely give this a go during Ramadan and I'm pretty sure you will feel like your skin is fresh and hydrated so let's just give this a go and just spray just like that just gently and mm, I love that smell it's so good and it gives you that cooling feeling and yeah just you can just dab it if you don't like it to just stick on your face and you can just dab it to evenly you know distribute the spray the liquid and yeah and just like that that's how you can keep your skin hydrated all right guys that's it for today's video so these are the two products that i recommended just now and you can definitely give this a go during ramadan and i'm sure you will feel your skin feeling fresh and hydrated now Feel free to share your skincare routine that has changed during Ramadan or if you have any tips, just drop it down in the comment section below. And if you want to find out more about the products that I use today, I'll put the link down below in the description box. Also, if you have any skincare requests that you want us to do, again, feel free to drop it down in the comment section below. So I really hope to see you guys really soon. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel. Bye!